Hello everyone, welcome to Park Mess. and in this video I am going to solve this exponential math problem. So let's start the video. First of all we will write solution and we will rewrite this question in the solution again. So the question is x raised to power x square is equal to 16. So first of all we will suppose that this x square is y. So let x square is equal to y. Now we will replace this x square with y in this equation. So it will become x raised to power y is equal to 16. In the next step, we will take squares on both sides. So this equation will become x raised to power y whole square is equal to 16 square. In the next step, on the left hand side, we will use the famous exponential property that is r s to power m or s to power n can also be written as r s to power n or s to power m. So by using this famous exponential property, we can write this equation as we will replace the powers with each other. So it will become x square whole power y is equal to 16 square. As we previously considered that x square is equal to y here, x square is equal to y. So again, we will replace x square with y. So this equation will become y raised to power y is equal to we can write 16 base as 4 square whole square. So my dears again on the right hand side of this equation we will use the famous exponential property that is a raised to power m whole raised to power n is equal to r s to power m n r s to power m whole raised to power n so we will write the base as the same and we will multiply the powers with each other so we will use this property on the right hand side of the above equation so it will become y raised to power y is equal to we will multiply the powers so we will write base as the same and 2 times 2 is 4. Now my dears, look it to both sides. Here we will use the famous mathematical property that is when on both sides of equation base is same with the power. So we can compare the powers or the bases. So here we will compare the powers. So it implies that the value of y will be 4. But as we previously considered that y is equal to x square so here we will replace y with x square so it will become x square is equal to 4 now to further simplify it we will take square root on both sides so it will become x square to square root and we can write for s 2 square because 2 times 2 is 4. So here this square and this square will be cancelled with each other. So x is equal to it will become plus minus 2. So the two possible roots here are plus minus 2. It means plus 2 and minus 2. Now we will check that x is equal to plus 2 and x is equal to minus 2 are the correct and exact root of this exponential equation or not. So we will prove it here. So first we will check for x is equal to plus 2 for the value of plus 2. So we will write the exponential equation again here that is x raised to power x square is equal to 16. So here on the left hand side we will replace x with the number 2. So it will become 2 raised to power 2 square 
is equal to 16 right this base is the same and 2 raised to power 2 means 4 we will multiply it to 2 times so it is 4 is equal to 16 now again 2 raised to power 4 means multiply the number 2 4 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16 so it will become 16 equal to 16 as both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to plus 2 is the exact and correct root of this exponential equation now we will check for x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 so again we will write this exponential equation x raised to power x square is equal to 16 so we will replace x with minus 2 so it will become minus 2 all raised to power minus 2 all square is equal to 16 next minus 2 all raised to power minus 2 power 2 means multiply minus 2 2 times so minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4 is equal to 16 here minus 2 raised to power 4 means multiply minus 2 4 times we know that when a negative sign is multiplied even time so it is always positive and 2 raised to power 4 means multiply 2 4 times like this so multiplying 2 4 times gives him 16 is equal to 16 so again both sides are the same so it means that x is equal to minus 2 is also the correct and exact possible root of this exponential equation and in last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for the viral math problem solutions and for olympiad math questions thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video